Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showcasing my call factory on Satisfactory and I'll show you how you can get 4800 uh, megavolts uh, from this call factory. At the start I will show you a few pictures how I began to build this call factory. So from the start we have some concrete foundations, um, then we have some miners on top, uh, I was working on this project overnight as well, so we have some floodlights to help me see what I'm building. So that way it's much faster to build everything and I don't have to wait for sunlight or just work with the flashlight. Alright, so let's go and see what I have built at the end. Um, I will take a little short drive because my friend Flambo, um, he's working with, on this project with me and he's building the roads. Um, so he was um, having a hard time fighting spiders and other creatures here. So I kind of want to show off his work as well. Uh, so the road is not finished yet. We still need to paint some lines. You will see some power cables laying around. So just ignore those. They will be built under the road. So all the cables will be hidden. Um, so I just want to show you this short route to the coal factory. So as you can already see on the left hand side, our part of our coal factory is down there. So we have included another cool feature with farm ball that we can turn down here and then go under and go all the way down there if we ever need to expand. Alright, so we are coming up on this factory. Uh, the entrance is quite sharp, but the reason is because of the rocks here. We have to kind of make it sharp. We could have moved the entrance slightly inwards, um, but I wanted to square off the building. I don't want to make too many shapes, so that's why it is like this. But in the future, we might move it slightly. But it's alright, it's not too bad. Alright, so we'll get there eventually, but let's start with the main building, so... I'll quickly run inside not to waste any time. And let's look at the production and consumption first, and then we'll go around and look at things how they are. So we are producing 4800 megawatts in this factory. Um, I do have another power plant, so let's say, um, in the middle of the map. That's quartz, my bad. We're over here. It's not a, not a coal power factory. Uh, we are playing on Grassfield's map, if you're wondering what map this is. So it's the first map that you start with. You will probably start in this location somewhere here. We're moving the mouse. So just over the hill we have our first coal factory. And then down here, towards the right, we have the second one. Um, so the first one is producing 2400, which is half of this. And I'll show you how I managed to double the amount. So we have uh, overclocked the miners. We are using four miners. Um, with overclocking, they will take more megawatts per minute. Um, but overall production will double, so a few hundred megawatts it's worth losing to create more power. Um, if you want to, as you can see, consumption is 1000 megawatts. If you want to save some megawatts, um, I've included uh, some lights around, but uh, this is mostly for decoration. Um, if you don't really care about decoration and you want to make as much power as you can, uh, you don't need to include the lights and then that way we can save a couple of hundred, like over 100 megawatts, let's just put it that way. Alright, so as I mentioned before, we have four miners, um, they are taking 120 megawatts. Then we have um, water pumps, water extractors, and we have 64 coal generators which are not taking any power, they're producing power. Uh, so mostly water extractors are taking like the most of energy here. So this is uh, the basics and calculations of what we have. Um, what I suggest having is a fail switch. So if uh, you have a power cut and the grid goes down, if you put too many factories on and no one likes the sound when the 
power cuts. Um, so what you can do is start a manual override. Uh, you can turn off the main grid from here. So you can just power it down uh, and just cut off the coal factory from the main grid. And then you can power on... Let's just go in here in this room. So we have a few batteries in here. We have 1,900 megawatts. Uh, you might be wondering why I have 900 megawatts extra because this factory takes only 1,000. It's because the water pumps they need to run a little bit longer uh, to fill up the water into the generators, um, and they take a lot of power, as you can see. So I don't want to crush this uh, batteries before we can even start producing power. So that's why I want, I want to have a little bit more megawatts in the storage area. So what you want to do is turn on the power pumps, coal miners, and then once everything is running, you can then turn on the main grid again, and then you can uh, let the power inside the grid, and then turn the factories on one by one, depending on the situation. All right, so let's go and see the rest of the power plant. So we have the first miner over here. As you can see, we have overclocked it, so it's taking more power, but it again is producing 240 coal per minute, while the other one is, if it's not overclocked, it will produce only 120, so half of it. So we have a little bit of up and down the stairs because of the placement of the ores. And then we have a few more downstairs, so let's just quickly run through it, so I don't waste your time. Alright, so we have one miner over here, and the last one over here. So four miners in total, all of them overclocked to 240 coal per minute. And then I have built a bridge, which connects all the coal, and then goes into the main grid. So let's go and see the main power plant. Alright. So we are using lots of windows to let light in. That way you don't have to use too many lights during the day. So all the lights are turned on the night mode. It's to save some power so we don't always have to have them turned on. So as you can see we have 64 coal generators. We have a clean cable management, I uh, will show you how it's done once we go underneath. So everything is pretty much mirrored here. And it's the same all the way through. Um, this power plant is currently producing 4,725 instead of a uh, 4,800 because one of the generators is not plugged in properly with the cable. So I will need to uh, figure out which one is not connected. Um, so be careful when you're connecting your power generators, coal generators, my bad. Um, especially if you're doing 64 of them, make sure that all of them are connected because then you will have to go and unplug every single one of them until you find the correct one. So that is going to be my job after this video. So let's go downstairs and see how the coal is getting in and the water. So I just wanted to make sure that everything is clean on the top, I don't have any conveyor belts, no pipes, no nothing, everything is just connected through the floor and the rest of the space is empty. So once we go down the stairs, uh, yet again I try to make everything clean as possible, so the pipes are going downstairs one floor lower. Um, so on this floor we only have conveyor belts, which are coming in from the main building with the miners and we have the connector bridge under the walkway on the top and then we have all four convertibles coming in and then we'll, they are splitting up so as you can see the first convertible is splitting into these two rows and then we have smaller conveyor belts mark 2 and then mark 1 just to make the calculations run smoothly uh, so we don't have uh, coal going to just one side. Uh, 
uh, and we are, if you are wondering where the cables are, they are underneath of these things here. So I made it look like there are support beams to hold the f floor, but at the same time I uh, use it to hide any cables. So let's just unplug a few of them and show you. Hopefully the server will not crash. So we have a few power sockets going through and then it, the um, coal generator is plugged directly into it so everything is hidden um, inside of the foundation or the pillars. So this is how you can hide all of your cables and if you want to move it uh, uh, one floor lower you can go through support beams which I did bigger ones and then you can just drag them downstairs. Um, just a small little tip here. Um, if you want to drag it for the main big pillar, what you can do is take this one here, then take a metal beam, put it in the middle, take a power socket, and then you can do the same thing on the floor above or floor below, and then you can just pull the cable down, and then you can just cover it up yet again like so and that way the cables are hidden inside let's get rid of that so just a little trick that you can do so hopefully that will help you create more cleaner um, factories or power plants so this is the call and let's go downstairs to see how water is done So we'll go down that staircase later on. Let's go this way. So on this floor we have only pipes. Nothing else. So the pipes are coming from downstairs. So they go directly up from below, they twist around, come this way, and then go into the coal generators up above. So when you are building this, if you want to do it the same way, you will need these water pumps. Uh, but the downstairs one, you might not need them because the power extract uh, water extractors, my bad, um, can push up the water 10 meters, but I include extra power pumps um, water pumps uh, just in case downstairs um, also it helps with the backflow of water so over here we have the extractors for the water you will need four extractors for eight coal generators um, I did my coal equations wrong before and I was eight extractors short and then I was having a massive problem with the water flow um, so make sure that you have four water extractors per eight coal generators. So we have everything connected nicely here. Also did like a small staircase down if I ever need to go down here. But also we use jetpacks so nice just for scenery I guess and decoration. So we have um, water coming from down here going up this way and add extra water pumps just down here just in case and prevent backflow of water. So if you want to save some power try without these water pumps and you might be able to s uh, do it without them and save some power um, if you are really short of megawatts for your factories. So the same thing is mirrored on the other side. So yeah, this is how I done mine coal factory. Um, to produce 4,800 megawatts. So let me know what you think about this if you think that this can be improved somehow um, 
and if you want to see any future videos, I'll let me know and I'll make them. Um, I will re be remaking my Arako power plant, which I mentioned before, which is in the middle of the map, over here. Um, so I might do a showcase of that as well, because it's in a different location and I'll have to build it on land maybe. So I could showcase that to you as well. So in total I'll be making 9600 megawatts just from coal. And then the water or the fuel uh, energy, um, I'll be focusing that in the near future. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like to see my future content, make sure to join me on Discord for instant notifications. On the Discord I'm also promoting members YouTube channels and streams to help you grow. All of the links are in the description. I shall see you in the next video. Peace.